Is it wild to think that you're now on your fifth year of the Love Loud Festival? Yeah, I mean, in a lot of ways, it feels like it was yesterday. This is our first time doing multi-city, bringing it to Austin and DC as well as Salt Lake, which I'm really excited about, yeah. Right, I mean, that is seriously incredible. Plus the lineup. I mean, Victoria Monet, David Archuleta. I mean, you have so many incredible people. Like, it must be amazing for you to see how big this festival has gotten throughout the years. Yeah, I, I don't. I feel like the Love Loud lineup is really underrated. Like we had Anita like, like last year. Like we've had so many awesome, amazing performers throughout the years, um, and this is our best year yet. Like you're, I'm glad you saw that because yeah, the lineup is really sweet. Um, so I'm excited for people to get out and be able to experience the great music, but most importantly, experience you know a safe place where they can bring their family out. I mean, really, Love Loud is about families coming out together to support their LGBTQ youth. Um, and that's been our goal from the beginning and it's been a beautiful thing to see. Um, so yeah, excited to bring it to new cities. Me too, my friends. For people who have not been to a Love Loud festival just yet, what are they in store for? And how would you say it's a little bit different from some other festivals that people could go to? There's always a, kind of a feeling in the air that is different from a concert, I'd say, because everybody's there for a cause, everybody's there. Uh, to celebrate our LGBTQ youth. There's always a lot of speakers as well in between acts that come out and talk about how to love ourselves, how to, as a parent, support your child when they come out to you. Um, we have incredible speakers that come out every year and kind of share their story of how they got to where they were. Uh, but above all, it's just, there's a magical feeling in the air that I can't really put into words unless you attend. You'll you'll get to feel it, but it, it's it's a really rad thing when a lot of people gather for a united cause uh, that's beyond just the music. Why was it so important for you to be so passionate about LGBTQ plus rights and create this festival to help that community? Uh, well, I grew up uh, in the art community in Las Vegas and uh, was surrounded with a lot of really talented LGBTQ youth and also grew up Mormon. So I grew up with a lot of people who were queer and closeted because they were afraid to come out to their family or community because frankly they were rejected. I, I lost some of my friends to suicide uh, because they had no place. They felt they had no place that was safe for them in their community. My sexuality has never been challenged, right? Nobody has ever made me feel other. Uh, no, The church never told me that I was wrong to take someone to homecoming. Uh, and so I think seeing that from a young age, I knew that that was incorrect and what I was being taught at church was incorrect. So I've done just my little part to to try to stand up for my friends. And that's what Love Loud is. You know, we, I started with Tyler Glenn, who's my friend, who is a singer of Neon Trees, who didn't come out till his 30s. We served in the same Mormon mission together uh, and because he did not feel that there was a place for him. Uh, so we got on the phone and that was the birth of Love Loud. And so it's really just two friends coming together and trying to make the world a little a little better, one one state, one city at a time. Yes, I'm right, right there with you. And what I love is outside of Love Loud, you bring that allyship and that advocacy really everywhere you go. I love whenever you pull out that pride flag and you're wearing it when you're on stage, when you're performing in front of all these crowds. And I know everybody online, they love seeing these photos, Dan. I mean, you shirtless with the pride flag. I mean, the gays are living when you do that. <laughs> Hey, you know, I think uh, it's a very, it takes very little effort, but I do think it's meaningful. We don't have to go outside the U.S. to find places that are still unsafe for our LGBTQ youth, but it's a simple act to demonstrate standing with our youth. I love them and I stand with them and I'm, I'm here to fight with them.